Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted. Um, since we last seen each other, I purchased a, uh, a 2021 Tundra SR5 Trail Edition. And uh, today, I'm going to be walking you through what I, uh, my experience of actually installing this uh, tonneau cover, which is a, uh, it's a, Truxedo Century CT and so I'll be installing that on my Trail Edition uh, which might be interesting because the Trail Edition has these extra little boxes uh, as part of the package so we'll see what happens when we get started so it looks like the first thing they would have you do is install this this gasket or whatever you want to call it on this uh, back Part of the bed here uh, in the demo it shows a uh, that there's a metal there but as you can see my cover is uh is, is not metal on that it's a it's a sprayed in bed liner so i'm gonna have to rough that up i believe a little bit before i stick this on it once i get it stuck on there it should stay okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is uh, use this 60 sandpaper to rough up this this area right here all the way across so that that uh, will that it will at ease and then I'm gonna afterwards clean it with some rubbing alcohol I hate doing this to my new truck but uh, I know it's gonna look good with that cover on it just enough to rough it up on top And I'm gonna clean it real good with this alcohol. Um, of course, you gotta let that alcohol dry a little bit. But it's about 150 in the shade today, so it shouldn't take long out here. Okay. Let that dry for a minute. Making sure the alcohol is dry. I'm gonna come back and knock off some of the paper they got on there from the rough course area while well, it's cleaning. Okay. And next, well, we have my scissors here. I will apply this to the truck bed. Okay, it seems to have stuck really good to that bed liner. Probably like as straight as I'm going to get it. So on to the next step. As you can see, I'm going to need to uh, probably take out those uh, those pieces that go in the side rails in order to make this happen. Those take those pieces out, those gray pieces on both sides and then we'll rethink how I'll use them after I get the uh, after I get the cover installed. Now that these uh, these 
pieces were removed, you're going to have me add three of these to each side, which is a clamp that when half inch uh, bolt here will bolt up the uh, rails for the bed cover. Okay, so next I'm going to see how that rail fits. to fit on the inside of this bed cover or this lining. And go into these brackets. Tighten them so it'll hopefully hold it in until we get in the bed. Finish. Put it on. Holding it in there until I can get up and make sure that it's properly aligned and seated. But so far, it doesn't look like it's going to adversely affect my boxes. It's still able to open and shut. So that's good. So that means that uh, they're clean. That trail edition works with this he is true. I finished installing the, the rail on this. You don't get the other side. Okay, so rails went in pretty darn easy. Um, I went ahead and moved a couple of the uh, the silver things up front. I think it's going to work out okay. Next is this big heavy sucker right here. So I'm going to cut the plastic and see if I can just roll it out as simple as they made it look on their, their demo. Success. Graceful, it was not, but uh, it's done. might have noticed I had to uh, move a couple of those tie downs out of the way in order to get that latch on and now that it's on they say the next thing is just to roll it out so let's do that I guess you're supposed to latch this thing after you close 
tailgate. Center up. Back it nice. Fit. I guess this rubber lip goes over. Nice down. Nicely secure. Good cover. A little waterproofing. On my long trips. And make it uh, make it easier for travel. Thanks for watching. I'll try to put something out a little more often, but I uh, certainly appreciate uh, if you like what you saw, just to go down and subscribe, and have a great day.